Hi, this is the Details Flower software, and today this video is going to go over the resource section titled the Item Gallery. You can navigate to this section by clicking the three horizontal lines in the top left-hand corner, clicking Resources, and Item Gallery. You'll notice this area is preloaded with some collections, and over time we will add additional partnerships. If you open that collection, you can view all the items within it. There's two main ways to edit an item. One would be by clicking the image of the item and selecting Edit, changing any of the preloaded information. Your second option is to go to the table view found in the top right hand corner, giving you the option to edit multiple items at once. Click Image in the top right hand corner to go back to the main viewing point. Keep in mind any item that you change inside the software will start to also live in the collections titled My Items. If you need to add any of your own items, you can do so by clicking Add New in the top right hand corner and clicking New Item. From here you can upload a picture of your item. Underneath the descriptions, you can name your item. Underneath the details, you can choose which type of item you're uploading. Fill out the colors and availability accordingly. From here, below the item, you can click Save. And on the left-hand side, below the image, you can click Save as well. This item will now live in the My Items collection and you can also choose to nest it into other collections as you see fit. There's two ways to navigate back to the Gallery Home. One would be to click where it says Gallery Home. The other would be to click the book here, and now you can view other collections and sub-collections that live within them. At Details, we have created some of our own collections to give you a better idea of how the collections could work. I've opened up the color collections and within that I have a blush collection where I have collected all the items, whether they be flowers, vases, or miscellaneous, that I may use in a blush scenario. If you'd like to create your own collection, you can go back to the Gallery Home and in the top right hand corner click Add New and select New Collection. From here, you can name that collection whatever you see fit. You also have the option to choose what the background tile will look like, whether it's a color or an image. Once you have selected your color or the picture you prefer to use, you can choose to add this to your collections. If I open this collection, I'll notice that it's blank, and from here I can start to use the search and filter found on the left hand side. I either have the option to search the item by its name or category type, or in this scenario, since I'm only looking for purple items, I'm going to just search everything that may be purple. Once the right hand side has loaded, I have the option at the bottom of the page to go into what we call a selection mode. There's three ways to select items. The first is simply by clicking them one by one. The second would be by clicking and dragging your mouse to select multiple images at once. The last option is by clicking more at the bottom of the page and simply selecting all items that you had filtered. Once you have the items that you want to put into the collection, you can click the copy button at the bottom of the page, and you'll notice on the left hand side that it had collected all of these items to the clipboard. In the bottom right hand corner, it also alerts us that we have 15 items copied. From this point, I can choose to go back to my gallery, open up that purple collection, and either at the bottom of the page click Paste, or on the menu found on the left hand side, I can click this All Here option. Both of them simply just paste these items over into the purple collection. 
Now on my menu, I can choose to clear these clipboard contents and go back to searching and filtering for more items. Or maybe I need to go back to my gallery home and start to create more collections. If you have any questions about this collection section, you can find more information in our top left hand corner under the support tab where we have additional tutorials and webinars. We even have a video all about how to use this collection in a specific event to save you time. Thanks so much. I hope this video has helped.